fact, not defrosting your car properly can lead to three points and at least a £60 fine. But what does properly actually mean? Welcome to the community. If you don't know me already, I'm Josh and I'm a driving instructor. A driving instructor can be really boring for a lot of people along with learning to drive also. So I try and skip over the BS and get straight to the facts and the good stuff. Now temperatures are dropping massively at the moment. There's even talks of the beast from the east. I'm actually seeing snow so we need to clean the car off now more than ever to make sure it's clear and ready for when we go out. Now apparently if you don't clean your car off properly from snow, dirt, whatever else, you can get a fine and point, blah, 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 blah. But let's actually have a look at the facts. Now here we have the highway code. Anything to do with adverse weather is in rule 228 to 229. So what does it say? Well first of all it says don't drive if you don't have to. Makes sense. The one we're really interested in, rule 229, says you must be able to see to clear all your windows and windscreen. It also says your number plate needs to be clean and visible so other people can see it, along with your lights as well, otherwise they're not going to be effective either. You need to make sure there's no snow on the car so it can't fall off an other driver's path and blind them, and that's it. And it even gives you an example of a don't and a do. Basically, don't leave yourself a little hole in the windscreen, otherwise you're opening up yourself up to danger along with others and possibility of points and a fine. And it's absolutely right. If you imagine driving up to a junction and you can't see out your left window, and you can't see out your right window because it's frosted up and you've only done a cabin hole in the, the windscreen. You can't see if a car's coming left, can't see if a car's coming right. A little bit screwed. Now, I thought I'd do a bit of research in this to actually find out some more facts about it. Now, the Express is driving with a dirty windscreen could actually land you with a £5,000 fine and nine penalty points. Where they've got these facts from, I'd love to know. But there you go. So here it does state, as you can see, if you were to actually have an accident due to having a dirty windscreen, this is when the punishments really get serious. But this still wasn't good enough for me. I still wanted to find some more facts. So I did some digging. I looked in Google as, you know, where else would you go? For example, a fine for people having frozen windscreens or dirty windscreens. And I don't ever advise having a frozen or dirty windscreen. I might add, I'm not saying that you should or recommending it. It's a really bad idea and it's dangerous to yourself and others. But I am intrigued. There's so much information about it. But has anyone actually ever been fined? I can't find a thing. As you can see here in Google, all there is is pages and pages and pages of you could be fined. So I don't know if any of you guys know anyone out there that's ever been fined for this. If so, you know, please let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear about it. I'm really intrigued. So a whole bucket load of you guys just tend to avoid driving when it's snowing or when it's icy, which is the absolute right thing to do. If the journey's not essential, what's the point of risking your car, other people's cars? There's no point. However, you key workers out there, you can't do that, can you? You can't phone the boss and say, oh, I'm not coming in. It's, it's all snowy and icy because that's not going to work. You've, you've got to go to, to the NHS or, or wherever else. So you just can't avoid that situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we should actually defrost the car correctly. Here are some options. So you've got a few options. The first one and the favourite is get the old kettle out full of hot water and just start slapping that hot water over the car like it's a wet t-shirt competition. This is a mistake. Put the kettle down. So quick science lesson. When something gets hot, it expands. When something starts to cool down or gets cold, it contracts, getting smaller. Well, unfortunately, glass is not very good at quickly expanding and it can tend to crack. So that's like why you put, if you put a wine glass sometimes in the dishwasher, it comes out in, you know, a million pieces because it's expanded too quickly from the heat and it's just, it's not very good. So using a boiling hot kettle of water is not going to be good for the windscreen. Your best option is to get some warm water. Warm water is going to be absolutely fine. Pour that over the car. It's not going to cause any damage to the windscreen and you're going to melt that frost. Um, leaving a slush nice and easy to get up and safe. Your other option is buy some de-icer from hashtag Halfords, jokes, jokes. Buy some de-icer from the petrol garage, Halfords, wherever you want. Put it in a spray bottle, give it a spray a few minutes before you're ready to go. Happy days. Also, don't leave your keys in the car and then go up inside because that's how you get your car nicked. Now tell me, has that helped? In fact, don't tell me. If it's helped, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, press a sub, maybe even press the alert button so you know what's coming next. Thank you for watching. See you soon.